Hi, I'm Christina Lewis Welt. I am a third generation pet stylist and I've now started a venture into the art of creative group. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I achieved the cheetah print on my pet Olivia. I actually just won an award for this look. I already pre-cut her, I've pre-bathed her. She is ready for me to start applying color. So I'm gonna start with her head first and I've already put, I don't know if you can see it, I've already put bands in here, so that way it's easier for me to foil it. And I'm gonna set that in and her tail, and then I'm gonna start with the cheetah print. So I've already had my product set up. I have right here, I have Opaw's paint brushes, which I really, really, really love. Um, I have Ardent Orange, I have Super Black by Opaw's, and I also have Vital Copper. Um, for her head, I'm going to use the Ardent Orange. For the cheetah print, I'm going to use the Super Black and the Vital Copper. I like the Vital Copper because it leaves it more like a, a rustic kind of color versus the orange on you know, their, her head. So right now I have my foil set up, my brushes, and I'm gonna get started with her top knot. So here is the Ardent Orange. So I've got my small foils so I put those in so that way it doesn't bleed on top of her head and it tends to um, keep the color together and it tends to work a little bit faster so I'm going to start with the front of her head and with the brush I use it um, and I kind of spread it out all the way to the base of the band so that way it saturates all the way through so I start, I also use my fingers and I kind of work the color in. If it gets a little bit, a little bit on top of her top knot, it's not a big deal. So I can always reband it and kind of cover it a little bit. But the most important thing is you don't want to get the color all the way close to her eyes. I mean, if you feel comfortable enough, you can, but um, I tend to try to keep it away from her face just in case. There's my first So I'm going to wrap this up. And I also have clips to the side as well, so when I'm done, I can put them all together. It's also uh, important when you're doing color to do a test strip for it first because you're not always sure if the color is going to turn out the way that you want it to. So it's best to do a test strip before you start. I'm going to try to get the color in so that way it'll set, and then I can start showing how to do the cheetah print. So there's four bands here. I mean, you can always do more if you want, but I think that's all I need so that it kind of makes your head nice and orange. I'm gonna make sure you spread it all the way out to the tip of the hair. So while I'm applying the color, it'll be nice because this will have plenty of time to set in and be nice and orange when I finish it up. The black, it says to let it sit for at least 30 to 45 minutes. So while that's sitting, it's even longer on the top and the tail, because sometimes you have a hard time with the color saturating in. And sometimes the head or the tail can be a little bit lighter than you want it to be. So the longer that it sits, the better that it is. You can also buy these clips and foil I purchased at a hair salon. Sure you have a box of gloves handy because you never know how many you're going to use and different colors, you need different gloves because you don't want it to bleed, one color to bleed and another because you have it on your hands. Okay. For a tail, I bought longer foil. I like the longer foil because it just holds the tail in because the tail obviously has longer hair. So I've even seen people um, take saran wrap and then use a clip so that way it doesn't get onto the dog's tail or I'm sorry onto the dog's rear legs. Use 
you don't want to make it too tight on her tail because you don't want it to be uncomfortable, so I set it nice and gently so it's not cutting off the circulation. That way it also doesn't come off the foil tends to hold the color in pretty well. And now I'm gonna let this sit and I'm gonna start with the cheetah print in a couple minutes. All right, now that I have already set in the head and tail, I'm gonna start with the cheetah print. She did not like the hair clip, so I had to put more foil on top of her head so she kind of has a little bit of a dunce hat, but she's more comfortable with that than the clips because the clips I think were a little uncomfortable on her head. But anyway, so now I have my Super Black by Opaws. I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna start with my cheetah spots and with the cheetah spots I tend to I like to do U's and like three spots in a around in a circle so when I go back I can put the vital copper in and put that in between the black spots and when I go back with the vital copper after I've let it sit for 30 to 45 minutes I can put the spots where I want them and I can kind of envision how I'm gonna make it look and I also put like little itty bitty spots in between because it tends to bring the color together. together. Good girl, Lydia. Maybe I'm gonna do a little U here because I did three spots there, so. U here. And then another one leaving a little area for me to apply the orange and ribbon copper. Oh, with the, um, I, I took it really close on her back because it's so much easier for me to apply the color. Some coats you can, you know, leave the hair longer, but for the cheetah print, I like to do it the hair with a shaper, pre-shaper with a 10, so that way it's easier for me to apply it. And as I'm applying the color, I'm also thinking about how I want it to look and where I want to place the spots. And some people will apply the lighter colors first, and then you can go back and apply the dark over it because obviously the dark covers the lighter colors. But with this look, I like to do black first just so I know I can see where, where I wanna put my other colors. Cause I did it one time with applying the vital color, uh, the vital copper first and I went back with the black, but I just didn't like the way that it looked. So I go with what I feel more comfortable with. So it all depends on which way you wanna do it and what works better for you. And you can do bigger or smaller spots. It's totally up to you and what look you want. On my other dog, I did smaller spots and it looks really cool. But with Olivia, the one I won an award on was this design. So I'm going to do it today. And you can also put it all the way up on her chest if you want, on the chest of the dog and kind of wrap it all the, all the way around, it's up to you. I like hers to kind of look like a jacket. So. And what I'm gonna do is just do this side first and that way it just doesn't kind of, the feed doesn't continue and then I'm gonna give her a bath and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how I apply the light. So I've just done this side and I'm gonna cut off the feed and I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna let this sit for 30 to 45 minutes. Oh, actually, it's been sitting for a little bit already, so probably like 
30 minutes. And then I'm gonna give her a bath and then I will start putting in the vital copper. Okay, and we're back. Um, I've rinsed out the orange and the black and I use a little bit of shampoo to make sure I got it out thoroughly. Um, you don't want to use hot water, but you want to use like lukewarm water. You don't want to use it too hot because it'll, or too warm, I'm sorry, because the color will tend to fade. Um, but anyway, so now I'm going to add in the Vital Copper. And I'm gonna add it in the spots to kind of bring the color together and make it look more like a cheetah. Another trick that I've learned that when you're fin if you have extra color left over, you can put foil on top like this, and it preserves the color. So you can come back. You know, I made obviously way too much black, so I covered that up. And you know, if I want to do a color tomorrow, I can use that on there. Some of them hold up for a little bit longer. Color is quite expensive, so it's nice to save it if you can. So I'm gonna put copper in between the spots. If you can see, well you will see, it's starting to get better. And you can always step away and then look at where you place the color. And it kind of gives you an idea what it's gonna look like. And when I'm finished with this, I'm gonna let it sit for a good 20 minutes, that way the color turns out very vibrant. And also while it's processing, I can make it a little bit darker, a little bit bigger, kind of continuously step back and take a look at the color, or the print, I'm sorry, and add a little bit bigger in the area if I need to, or add another spot. Play in a circular motion, trying to get to the root. In a second, I'm gonna stop and the feed, since you kind of already see pretty much what I've done, I'm gonna continuously kind of go back as it's processing. Just add a little bit more, kind of make sure it's saturated all the way to the root. Um, maybe add a, another spot or two. So far, this is what I've achieved. And it's kind of coming together. I don't know if you can see the back. Let's see if I can set it up so it's already starting to look very nice. And once I let it process and rinse, it will be even better. Hi, if you like my video, please like, comment, and subscribe below, and follow me on Instagram. Thank you very much.